What's up Gadget Tears? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go and see if the V4 superchargers for the Tesla Cybertruck actually works at 325 kilowatts. I am currently at 13%. So the supercharging station is about 13 10 miles away, 13 minutes. It's currently preconditioning right now as we sit here. So what we're going to do is drive over there and see if we can get 325 kilowatts because the last two times I've been there, it I don't even come close to that. So I'm pretty sure by now they should be activated and online because it does say 325. When you look up the charging station, it says that that is the delivery rate for those supercharging stations. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over there and see if we get exactly or remotely close to what they are advertising. Let's do this. All right, so we just got here to the supercharging station. We arrived with 9% battery. Uh, so that is 31 kilowatts, 31 kilowatts, 31 miles. What, I'm, what am I saying? What am I saying? 31 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in and we're gonna see if this bad boy gets the 325 or how long it gets it or even if it even reaches it but let me give you a quick look at all these v4 chargers here in fresno by fresno state let's go ahead and do that i think they got like 30 station if i'm not mistaken So 268, 271 kilowatts right now. Let's go, let's go, baby, let's go, let's go. And I think this is as high as we're gonna get. 274, exactly what happened last time. Nowhere near 325, and then it immediately starts dropping back down to 250 kilowatts. There's not too many cars charging here either, so. Uh, I don't know if it's because I have free supercharging. They're going to limit my charging speeds, maybe. But it looks like we're going to hover here at around 230 for a while. And uh, 274 was the peak of what we can get here at these V4 325 kilowatt charging all right, so there you have it, 325 kilowatt V4 charging station here. The highest we got on the Cybertruck was 274 as you witness. Now, I don't know if it's because I have free supercharging, they have capped the supercharging speeds to 250 maybe, who knows. Uh, but that is the fastest I can get here at this 325 kilowatt supercharging station in Fresno, California. Now, it is very nice. They have a bunch of charging uh, stations here, about 30, I think. They're all V4. Uh, it does say when you go to charge on your map that they are enabled for 325. As you witnessed, we got up to 274 for about a second and then immediately started dropping down. Now we're hovering around 210, 215, 230, and it looks like we're gonna stay at those speeds for a while. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. This was just a quick video on the experience right now of the V4 supercharging station. Let me know down in the comment section below if you are experiencing the same thing. Do we need to get an update in the truck to actually take advantage of those speeds charge for longer at higher speeds let me know down in the comment section below i don't know maybe 
we do maybe we don't maybe it's just my truck maybe it's just because i have free supercharging station and they have limit my charging speeds who knows anyways thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace